Hi, power fans and YouTube. It's your boy Nino, and I'm back again with another power video. In this video, we are going to look at nine major continuity mistakes or errors in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1. These mistakes have nothing to do with the storyline, but rather the production and post production. Now, the first continuity error is at the scene where Efe and Tariq were having conversation. That was when Tariq went back to Efe for help. You realize they played a little romance at this scene. And if you look closely, when Tariq was opening Efe's dress, you could see right here that her bra strap was falling off her arm. Immediately, the next scene, the bra strap was back at the exact position it was. This alone shows that these were multiple shots that were pieced together at that scene. It wasn't a continuous shot. That is why you could realize that in the previous scene, the bra strap was falling. And then the next scene, the bra strap is intact. So that is one continuity error in this scene. Now, the second continuity error is at the scene where 2Bit was in court and being interrogated by Sachs. Now, if you look at this point, when Sachs then and look at Davis McLean, his hand was on the table holding a pen with a wild mood. Now, if you look at the next scene, Davis is sitting upright with his two hands on the table. Now, moving to the third continuity error, this is actually in the first episode of Power Book 2. When Tariq and his grandmother met at the entrance of the court and they had that passionate hug, you realize that the grandmother's hand was on Tariq's right shoulder. Now, take a close look at this. In the next scene, boom, the hand went off. So this is a continuity error, which also means that this scene was shot multiple times and they couldn't keep track on the continuities and they kept all the footages and the editor didn't have a choice, but just to use them as such. Now, the mistake number four is where Tariq and Braden went to Trace party. Now, after the police showed up and then they had a little back and forth and Trace was going back into the room and say, let's have a party. You can realize that in that shot, Tariq was smiling, giggling, also excited. Then in the next scene, boom, he's all moody and as if he wasn't excited about anything. To me, personally, this is one of continuity errors because Tariq shouldn't have laughed in the previous one. He should have just kept his mood as it was in the close-up shot. Now, this one is quite interesting. Now, one thing you should know is that if you are doing a production and continuity is a big problem for you, you have to try as much as possible to avoid certain things like vapor, wind, animate objects that you can't control or are beyond your control. Now, look at this scene closely. We realize that Monet is pouring coffee into her cup. You can see that there's vapor coming out of the coffee, which means what well, the coffee is hot. Now she walk past to go and sit and we can see that there is still vapor coming out of the cup, right? Now, Monet sat down and all of a sudden the vapor vanishes. There's no vapor coming out of the cup. Well, one could argue that it, it, it's normal, but then take a close look at this. When Drew came in, the vapor is back in. You could see that the vapor is still coming up, which suggests that it's still coming out from the cup. Now, that is not it. In the next scene, you see that the vapor is not even coming out again. Now, that is not all. If you switch in between these scenes, you realize that the vapor is not in one of the scenes and the other, the vapor is always in the scene. This also should tell you that once you are doing multiple shots, you need to make sure that your continuity is intact. Now, let's go deep into this particular scene. Now, this is where Terry comes in. If you notice, the cap is at the left-hand side of Monet at exactly where she placed it initially. Now, when Tariq was entering with the bag, about to put the bag on the table, you can see that the cap vanished and boom, right in front of Monet with beautiful vapor coming out of it. This is a big continuity mistake. This one was so obvious that this was a mistake. My advice is if you are doing a production and you have to deal with animated things like vapor, smoke, water droplets, and all those things, you have a huge responsibility when it comes to continuity because those things might not be necessary to you, but trust me, it could break your continuity and it will expose the fact that you are not paying attention to what you were doing. So that is it about this particular scene and it was episode 9. 
Now, mistake number six. I find this a little bit ridiculous, but let's just do this. The scene where Tariq barged into Zeke when he was having sex, when he was moving to his room for the first time. Now, this scene also suggests that it was shot multiple times. Now, take a look at this. When Zeke was having the sex and the girl asked Zeke to tell him to leave, Zeke told Tariq to give him five minutes. Now, if you look closely to the image, when he said five minutes, he was sitting upright or he was kneeling upright. However, he was before having the sex, he was upright and you could see that he raised his arm and then he said five minutes. And if you check the alignment of his fingers and his head, it's almost half of his face, right? Now, in the other angle of the same shot, which is also equally suggesting that he's still telling him to give him five minutes, you could see that Zeke had bent down and you see the level of where the hand was before Tariq left. So this is a huge continuity error. I think they shot one scene and then they came backwards and then they shot the other person's scene. I think this is like a one-way camera or one camera angle. Now, mistake number seven is the scene between Epiphany, Davis, and Sachs when they went to her in her house. Well, someone would say it's not her house, but where she was living. Now, I don't know what happened during this particular scene, but Epiphany's continuity was really, really, really bad in terms of her gestures. Now, let me just draw your attention to just one set of it. Now, if you take a close look at this scene, her hand is on her waist, right? In the next scene, she has folded her arm. Now, in the next scene again, you find her right hand on her waist. This alone should tell you how inconsistent Epiphany was with her gestures. And this was supposed to be monitored by a continuity person. So I don't know whether to blame Epiphany or I should blame the person who was responsible to monitor all these things and make sure that they follow consistently. Now, mistake number eight. This one, I think it is bad, 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 bad. That is is the scene where Paula went to Tasha alone. Now look at how Paula entered the room, okay? In this establishing shot, you could see that Paula is holding her bag with her right arm, okay? Then the hand went off when they cut to Tasha's angle when Tasha was speaking. Then the next scene cutting back to Paula, Paula is seen holding her bag again, okay? Then they switch back to Tasha alone, then quickly back to Paula. Now Paula is now holding readjusting her bag then what happens in the next scene that we are seeing tasha her hand is straight down this scene went on and on and on and i believe this are little little things that i think they should take notice of and then make sure that people like us don't scrutinize them a little bit about their continuity now to the ninth and final major mistake that i've noticed is the graveyard where they were going to bury the supposed ghost body. I said a supposed ghost body because I still believe ghost is alive. Let's put that aside. Now, if you look at the way they held the casket, right? It felt as if there was someone in it. But when they cut to the aerial shot of the people holding the casket, you could see that it feel very light. And the way that people were turning around the casket, you could see that the casket was dangling and it feels very light. Then boom, they cut to Tariq's face. Now, I believe very strongly that in production, when they are not doing an open casket, it's not necessarily that a human being has to sleep in the casket for them to carry. So what they do is they put a certain amount of load in the casket so that at least it will feel a little bit heavy. But in this case, I don't think there were a lot of loads in the casket enough to make it look realistic that okay, there is a human being in it. And we all know ghost body and ghost structure. So if ghost is supposed to be in that casket, at least it should be heavy. And also we know that when a person dies, his weight becomes heavier than he was alive. So I believe this as little, little errors, the production house or whoever is coordinating this should check and then make sure that certain things are in place. And most of the times when you are submitting your shoes for awards and stuff, some people look at all these things and consider them before you get nominations. So even though Power is a very great show, it's a very good show, it can be 100% perfect. I strongly believe they can do better. Now, let me give a caveat. I am not saying these are the only errors in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1. There could be other ones hidden. These are the ones I have figured out. I feel like let me talk about them. And me talking about this doesn't mean that I am downplaying the creativity or the professionalism of the production house. I'm only saying that there are certain things that should be avoidable. And I believe strongly that 
if they were to see they would have made those corrections but hey you can't do everything perfect in life so and i hope some of them watch this video and then take note of it and when they are doing the next season they put a lot of things into consideration especially continuity so that is all about the little mistakes i found in power book 2 ghost season 1 now if you like this video kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment in the comment section let's keep the conversation going see you in my next video thanks for watching